Hi, this is a message which every parent should not miss if you have a child. This message is about an organ so special that it can study itself. It is called the human brain. It is only 1.4 kilograms in weight. Now the brain has undergone intensive and extensive research. But in the last 20 years, breakthrough studies and findings have brought us to the next level in terms of understanding the mind and how to get the maximum power or potency from our minds. It is made up of 12 to 15 billion nerve cells called neurons. These cells are capable of interacting with other cells by vibrating along branches called dendrites. The key to the connection between dendrites is a substance called myelin. Myelin is a kind of fatty protein released by the brain to coat the connection between dendrites as new information is learned. This happens the first time a connection is made. And thereafter, if there's proper stimulus from the environment to activate the connection again. At the time of the first connection, it takes a lot of energy to get it. After that, it gets easier and easier as myelin forms a thicker coat. Eventually, with repetition, the connection becomes sufficiently myelinated and is thus able to operate without effort or effortlessly. This explains why for some subjects, it becomes easier and easier after some initial difficulties. And this understanding is important because it explains how we can get our brains myelinated to the extent that it has become a new habit. And when we do it as a habit, it is done subconsciously or unconsciously without much effort. And next, I'd like to share a little bit on Professor Rogers Perry's split brain research, which won him the 1981 Nobel Award. In his research, Dr. Sperry established that the brain is made up of two hemispheres, the left hemisphere or the left brain, which is dominant in activities which are logical, sequential, linear, and rational. While on the other hand, the right hemisphere or the right brain is predominantly into activities which are random, unordered, intuitive, and holistic. Tony Wuzan, psychologist, author, educator, sportsman, advisor to governments and businesses, took our understanding of the brain to the next level. Tony is responsible for introducing radiant thinking, associated learning, and in that the brain takes in information via nonlinear, radial, and in a holistic manner. Tony is responsible for redefining and refining mind mapping to what it is today, from where it was first developed and used in the 3rd century. Mind maps are a reflection of our minds and thus reflect the natural way we store, organize, and prioritize information. Using keywords and key images, mind maps trigger our minds to unlock facts, ideas, and information readily and thus release the true potential of our amazing minds. In our concluding part, let us review the four key points raised in this video. Firstly, on myelin, the key substance, the coating on our branches, the dendrites. Myelin, the thicker, the better. Secondly, on Professor Roger Sperry's work, our two brains, it is imperative that we nurture and develop our less developed right brain which is also known as our unconscious brain. Nurture and develop the right brain to its fullest potential, power and intelligence. Thirdly, using and habitualizing our brain activities. It is said that if you do not use your brain, you lose it. Use it or lose it. This is true in the context of what has been proven. If you fail to myelinate your dendrites, you will lose the myelin. Your myelin will start to dissolve, leading to a loss in your mental capabilities, memory, and also powers. At this point, I'd like to share a story about a very special 113-year-old 
social worker. She is an extraordinary person in that she does not worry, she is always happy and she engages her mind in purposeful and useful activities like reading and helping the poor and unfortunate. And lastly, on mind map and mind mapping, this is perhaps the best available graphic tool which will help in the whole my alienation, in the habitual learning formation, and in increasing the holistic power of your brain. Mind map yourself to higher intelligence, extraordinary results with greater creativity and with lots of fun.